Welcome to Inspired Art Photos. This is a new channel and we're going to have a lot of fun together. Um, a little bit about uh, what we intend to cover. Uh, travel, wildlife photography, some of the gadgets, uh, some of the uh, things that you'll need to think about as far as computing, software. Um, also, uh, I almost named this channel The Art of Fine Art Photography on a Budget uh, because we all have budgets and that's part of the uh, content of this channel is we're going to talk about how to get a really excellent result that's important to me uh, while doing it with maybe uh, acceptable or adequate equipment that's very important to have good equipment but it doesn't have to be the most expensive um, for instance I use a Nikon D750 um, I use Sigma lenses I've been uh, able to acquire the excellent 24 to 105 f4 art lens uh, for wildlife i use a sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens and then for macro photography i use the uh, 105 f 2.8 macro lens all are very sharp all very affordable i also have uh, the nikon crop sensor lenses the dx series i also have nikar fx lenses but the Sigma stand out as exceptionally good values and that they're sharp, sometimes sharper than the Nikkor uh, counterparts and usually at uh, quite a bit of cost saving. The uh, other camera that I use is what I would call a good backup camera. I travel with the Nikon D7200 as a backup landscape camera. I also travel with the G7X that uh, this is being filmed on. Um, all very good cameras. Um, I've had excellent results with all of them and uh, so uh, let me talk a little bit about my philosophy early on I really wanted the very best in gear and in these videos I'll try to show you some of the early gear that I had I had a whole series of Roker glass from Minolta cameras uh, but somewhere along the line I found out that having adequate gear is important but it's really the photographer that makes the photo and uh, notice I said makes the photo not takes the photo we're going to talk a little bit about technique um, in my technical career um, I always loved to take something that was complex and make it simple uh, we called it the KISS approach so I will approach some subjects in photography where we will purposely have it very simple and that uh, is really a good basis to build on the more technical aspects of uh, some of the subjects we're going to cover I've worked in a color profiled environment for a lot of years. I've used a densitometer to calibrate uh, the rips and the large format printers that I've printed with. Um, I don't want to get into all the technical things that I have just as far as graphic arts background. Worked in a postscript environment then migrated to the PDF workflow and then now we're at a golden age of uh, being able to output where we can work uh, very acceptably with Profoto RGB and a lot of the different RIP platforms and uh, printing solutions. It's a really a good time to be in uh, photography. All right, a little bit about my weak point. And I, I'm going to underscore this. I'm new to video, and uh, this is one of my first videos that I'm trying to do at a higher level. Um, like everybody else, I've used the smartphone videos and made all the mistakes along the way. In my uh, last trip, I want to mention I, I made a very beginner's mistake because I was only going to send the video to social media so I shot most things in the portrait orientation uh, the holder that I came up with my rear view mirror when I was driving only held the phone in that orientation and now I have a lot of videos that uh, are less than ideal because now I'm going to repurpose them for YouTube but I will spare you the heavy black bars on a portrait orientation iPhone photo or, or video so there will be a few of those spliced in um, as we uh, progress, uh, I want to talk about some of the travel things. Uh, I spent a month and a half recently on an extended photographic expedition, uh, very much on a budget. So I'll talk about some of the camping options that we have, 
the government campgrounds, how the government uh, website reservation system works, or in some cases doesn't work. Um, we'll talk about senior passes, um, the limitations on some of the BLM campgrounds. For instance, uh, some of them do not allow um, travel trailers, they're only for a single vehicle. And then also, we'll get into the nitty gritty of some of the hotel chains. Uh, there's some that are really good and some that uh, we can't recommend and we will we will name names. Um, also want to mention that there's some price tools out there uh, to save money on hotel accommodations. You've probably seen all the commercials recently. One of the best is one of the early uh, pioneers in it and uh, so we'll talk about Priceline. It's still a very effective tool. Um, also as far as camping, I'll talk about some of the solutions that uh, we've tried. I'll talk about pickup camping, some of the gear for camping, and then also we're going to have some fun. I've got some hardship photos where it's snowing on me, it's raining on me, and my gear is blowing over, and you're all going to have a good laugh. I, I try not to take myself too seriously with that, so we're going to have some fun with those. And, you know, out west, uh, when you're traveling uh, late spring, you can encounter all kinds of weather. Um, I basically had a snowstorm that fell on me around for a whole week, but that's a whole other story. Well, welcome to Inspired Art Photos. I'd like to ask that you sit back and enjoy uh, the videos. If you have any comments, please post them. We want to make this a very positive and fun experience. Uh, again, uh, we will get into the technology and specifics for people. Again, uh, bear with me as I learn the, the craft of video. I'm thrilled about my new editor. Um, I just uh, am an adapter to uh, DaVinci's uh, Resolve and uh, right now I'm using version 12.5 for these videos. We'll migrate to 14 when it's out of beta. I'm finding it's an excellent tool for the job. Also, uh, we're cross-platform literate. Uh, in our house we have uh, several workstations, both Windows and Macs. And uh, that's true for our professional life. Uh, we're both uh, cross-platform literate. And I say we because I have a wife that's very much a partner in life and also a very fine photographer in her own right. So from all of us to all of you, welcome aboard. Thank you.